Okay guys, sorry about the previous few videos. I guess my mic was turned off, but uh, we went through some of this, these areas, cleared them out, and uh, we backtracked and uh, opened this spot here. So apparently we, uh, we got kind of hurt in the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and recharge that's why it's nice to get the top secret because you can just go back and get your stuff. All right, so we're at the ghost house. So there's several, there are several exits in this uh, particular ghost house. And so what we're gonna do is find the one with the star. This one's a little tricky. The, you know, you gotta find, and that, this one actually has a boss fight. So we're gonna take these coins out. We've gotta find a P-switch. There's the P-switch. And actually, this is kind of deceiving because there's that one, there's that exit, and there's a secret right here. Ah, darn. We uh, accidentally hit a button. That's okay. We can go back. We still can still get the P-switch. So, hit the, hit the vine, and then... Before the timer runs out, you have to hit this door. And then here's the boss fight. Oh, I'm getting cornered. I do not like being cornered. It just takes three hits. There we go. All right, easy enough. So this gives us access to Starland, I think. Yep, Star. Now we're, we're not going there yet. That's gonna be a whole nother section. We're gonna go back to the house and finish it the normal way. got hit. Alright, so we're basically just going to be looking for the standard exit. Now we we already saw what happened when he went through that door, so that we, we know it's not that door. But, as you can see, there's a door there, so let's see what this says. It's just telling us that there's uh, multiple stars throughout the map, which could come in handy. All right, here it is. Here's the, uh, there you go. All right, so we just, uh, we just finished this castle, and we'll see you in the next video.